here we have the completed version of our gun along with the pouch. We're going to remove the pouch and you can see our completed gun just by itself. Next we're going to make some parts of the gun transparent so you can see certain parts inside of the gun. You can see here an exploded view of the gun and all the parts that consist of it. We're going to be focusing on three key points in this video. First is the spring, next is the pattern feature, and lastly is the complex surface. For the complex surface, we're going to be focusing on the loft feature. First is the spring. For the spring, you want to first choose a plane to create a sketch on. We're going to choose a front plane, current sketch, and choose a circle. We're going to make the radius of the circle 20 and click the check mark. Click on features, click on curves, and click on helix and spiral. We're going to make the pitch 20. We're going to make the revolutions 10 and click the check mark. Now you can see we have made a sketch of the spring. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a plane, delete this reference, and we're going to choose the end of this helix, click on the point, and choose the right plane. And we have created the plane. Click the check mark, and now we're going to want to sketch on the plane, but first we want to be normal to it. Right click on plane 1, click on sketch, then click on the circle and create a circle anywhere on the plane. We're going to want to make the radius of the circle 2, click the check mark, and then click on display slash delete relations. Actually, we're going to click on Add Relation, delete Arc 1, click on the middle of the circle, and click on the helix. We're going to make them coincident, and click the check mark. Now we're going to sweep the circle along the helix, click on Sweat Boss as Space, and delete Sketch 2. Click on the circle, and click on the helix, and we have completed our sweep. And now we have finished our spring. Next, we'll show you how to do some patterning on the handle of our gun that we've created. Here's a half-completed model of a frame of a gun that we have. Um, let's just first put it into a convenient view so that we can sketch directly on the surface right there. This is where we want to actually uh, make a patterning. So we first want to draw our pattern onto this surface here. So let's just go ahead and do that. Hmm, let's make a diamond. That's a good shape. Alright, so the diamond is completed. It does not have to be perfect since it's going to be scaled. We want to make it a lot smaller so that we can include a lot of diamonds on the surface here. So let's just go up into Tools, Sketch Tools, and then click on Scale. And then make sure you select all the lines. And make, you can scale about any point. Just, just randomly pick one, and there you go. If you want to change the scale, then you can just change the value. So let's just, just make it a bit bigger. There you go. So we've got our base shape here. All right, so the next thing you want to do is we want to extrude this out off the surface, say about one millimeter, so that's perfect. And let's just click OK. All right, so now, since we have one feature there, we can now uh, use the Fill Pattern tool to replicate this across the whole surface. So a Fill Boundary is going to be uh, that boundary right here, and then it's already selected, the diamond selected, so we're all good. Um, to change the distance between the diamonds, we just change this menu, and we can just make it something so like um, 1.5 
millimeters. Uh, that looks pretty good. So let's click on OK. All right, so now we've got that, but you can see that the outer edges is not very smooth with the diamonds, so we're going to have to cut that out. So let's first change the view to something more convenient. Okay, and then the surface you want to sketch on is the base of a frame right there. So let's just click out and deselect that, and let's click on uh, this outer surface, out, out these outer lines here. And we want to offset the entity. And then we're going to have to reverse this so it cuts inside the boundary. All right, let's click OK. You can see that this curve isn't closed here, so we have to close it off. We can do that with just a simple line here. All right, just make sure you select both the left spline and the right spline. Perfect. So the next thing you have to do is just uh, trim off the top bits here. And then with any shape you want, you can just make a box around this as long as it covers the whole uh, boundary area. So that we can extrude cut this. So let's just pick a circle for simplicity. All right, that's done. Let's click on OK. And now we can finally extrude cut this. All right. Let's just first make sure that we uh, make it go through all, and then we can just swap their direction. And this looks good, so then this should extrude cut the diamonds. All right, so that's done. And now you can see that you actually have a smooth feature here. All right, that's it. To create the pouch for the gun, we need to use two complex surface tools, lob surface and boundary surface. In this section, we're going to focus on lob surface. To create the lob surface, uh, we need to upload the picture, go to tools, and go to sketch tools, and select on the sketch picture. And this takes you to load the picture. In this section, we need to have two uh, pictures, front and side of the gun. And we need to introduce the plane at the end of the barrel. And draw sketch on this plane using splines and lines. And make sure this covers the exterior of the gun. And we introduce another plane at the another end at the other end of the gun and we draw a sketch on this plane and this time the sketch must cover the barrel and the trigger parts so with these two sketches we can create a loft so let's hide the pictures first. So those two will become the pair profile lines for this uh, loft surface. Go to insert, surface, and select loft, and select two lines to create a loft, but the problem is it's going to have a linear surface, and it's not going to fit on the gun. Therefore, uh, we need to introduce the guidelines. And by using 3D sketch tools, we're going to add three guidelines to add onto our two profile lines.
and these guidelines will help to create complex surface. So there's one, two, and three. So go to insert, surface, and loft. Click two profile lines, just like before. But this time, click on the guide curves, click guidelines and select check. Select the second guideline, check. And select the third one and check. And finally, we get a loft surface for one part of the pouch. Thank you.